Hello, this is Alex from the National Weather Service in Pocatello with your Southeast Idaho weather hazard uh, planning briefing for Saturday, December 15th. Uh, taking a look at a timeline here through midweek, uh, any lingering snow showers that are out there in the across the mountains this morning should be coming to an end, uh, leaving r no impacts to the weekend. Uh, as we get into Sunday night, though, we'll begin to see some snow showers move in from the west. And those will develop over the Sawtooths and Central Mountains and over the Southern Highlands as well. As we get into a Sunday morning, the potential for a mix of rain and snow, freezing rain, uh, potential for the Eastern Magic Valley as well, Monday morning. And uh, we'll show you th more details in a bit. Uh, there won't be much of a break Monday night as that system moves off. There'll be uh, what appears another round of mostly mountain snow for Tuesday and Wednesday with increasing winds as we go into Wednesday. So potentially some areas of blowing snow across the mountains as we get into Wednesday. Uh, taking a look at the latest satellite picture this morning as that loads. Uh, we'll show you areas here in the green indicate higher moisture. Areas in the these yellows and oranges indicate areas of lower moisture. And as we look off to the west, we can see uh, that next system, uh, which is off the coast, that'll be moving on shore and coming across Idaho Sunday night and into Monday. And we can't quite see our next system beyond that, uh, but it's just off the screen here uh, for midweek. Let's take a look now, switch gears for a second, show you the forecast radar with precipitation type. As we mentioned, Monday morning, you can see those snow showers indicated in blue there, expanding across the southern highlands, uh, Sawtooths, so Galena Summit, Stanley, potentially down to Sun Valley as well, uh, with lower confidence across the eastern Magic Valley where there is that potential for a mix. As we go through the day Monday, that uh, precipitation moves eastward, and by the evening is mostly over the eastern highlands east of the interstate and towards the Wyoming border. Uh, some light snow showers lingering in the Upper Snake here from, say, Ashton North to Island Park Tuesday, uh, Monday night, rather, and into Tuesday morning. But notice, as we get into Tuesday, some heavier snow begins to move into mainly the mountains, although some snow showers potentially as far south as Rexburg, Idaho Falls, and in the benches east of Pocatello. And there is some warmer air moving in as well by this time. So a mix of rain and snow or all rain uh, for some of the valleys uh, south of, of Burley towards Malad. And then the snow shower activity gradually winds down as we get through Wednesday and into Thursday. Show you the six hour snowfall amounts here to give you an idea of how heavy the snowfall might be. You can see mainly light snow moving in Sunday night and into Monday morning. Uh, you notice these mounts are, are mostly light, uh, but just wanted to show you when the snowfall might be heaviest, which appears to be over the Sawtooth region uh, Monday morning. And then you can see how those light snow showers progress eastward as we go through the day Monday. Uh, notice here as we go into Monday night and especially Tuesday morning, starting to see some of those heavier snow showers work into the mountains. Uh, again, once once again, the sawtooth vicinity and the surrounding higher terrain looking to get the highest amounts from this event. And that's the end of those graphics. Uh, but as we showed you on the forecast radar earlier, expect that snow to expand across the rest of the mountains as we go through Tuesday, especially into Tuesday night. I uh, wanted to touch on the winds briefly here. You can see some higher gusts by the time we get into Tuesday over the passes and the mid and upper slopes. And by Wednesday, some of those winds expand across the Snake Plain. And notice again, those higher winds continue for passes. So some local blowing and drifting of snow. Certainly possible there. A uh, quick look at the temperatures here. You can see Monday with some of that warm air beginning to work in. Well, most areas getting above freezing except for some of the higher terrain areas. Uh, lows Tuesday night though do get below freezing for the higher elevation areas. But staying above freezing with some stronger southerly winds across the eastern Magic Valley, southern Snake Plain. And again, those uh, milder temperatures continuing through midweek with the uh, temperatures supported, uh, supportive of snow 
mostly in the higher elevation areas. Uh, taking a look at the lows here Monday night and Tuesday night. So getting below freezing for most areas by midweek in the overnight period. And the uh, same thing for Wednesday. That'll conclude the briefing for today. If you have any comments, questions, or feedback, we welcome those to the phone number or email address you see there. Thank you.